Lightroom's new AI denoising is absolutely amazing. So if you haven't heard, Lightroom recently updated with some new AI denoising, and honestly, it is very impressive. Again, I'm all for AI tools making our jobs easier, using things like Imagine AI to edit my photos for me, doing it with culling as well, and now being able to denoise is even better. Lightroom Classic is probably one of the best tools you should have in your tool belt as a photographer, and if you're not already using it or looking to learn more, make sure to check out my course in the description below that will give you a full workflow to get you from import to delivering your photos to your clients. But for now, let's go ahead and talk about how to AI denoise. When you're in Lightroom Classic under details where you'll normally find noise canceling and also sharpening, you'll now see a new AI denoise. Click on denoise and this will start the process for denoising your photo. You'll see it'll open up a preview window where you can see a preview of your photo and how it will be denoised on the left. You can also zoom out on this photo so you can see the whole photo and zoom in to see all the details. On the right, we'll see denoise and the amount that we're gonna be denoising our photo. Keep in mind, more denoising may make your photo look a little smooth so you can control how much you want there. On the bottom, you'll see how long it should take for it to denoise the photo and also you can turn on Create Stack if you'd like to. After dialing in all your settings, then you can go ahead and AI denoise. You'll notice it makes a new DNG version of your file, and then you're able to go ahead and edit on top of that. So you might be asking yourself, what do the results really look like? Let's take a look at some of my own photos and run it through the AI denoising. So here's a shot from a sparkler exit I did, or a phone exit. If you actually have a couple who wants to do sparklers but can't, do this. This absolutely works, it looks great. But again, with sparkler exits and receptions for wedding photographers, this is where the denoise AI is really gonna come in handy. So you can see I'm shooting at 1600 ISO here, so it is fairly grainy. We can even, let's zoom in a little bit further. You can really see all that. So we're going to go ahead and develop this photo, come down to our detail, hit denoise. And this is looking pretty good. I'm honestly surprised at how well it all works. Now remember how long it takes depends on your computer. If you have a faster one or not, it could take a long time. You can also batch denoise as well. There we go. You see the file name changed to nr.dng, so I know it's the noise reduction. And you can see here it's pretty smooth. What you're seeing here is because I was shooting 1 over 80, my shot was soft. So the AI actually picked that up, but overall it's fairly clean looking. And at this point, I can go in and do my normal editing. This is using the natural fills preset, which you can check out in the description below. Let's pull these oranges back a little bit. There we go. And a quick and clean before and after with noise reduction. The photo is looking much cleaner now. Here's another example from a sparkler exit. You can see here my ISO actually is not as high, but my shutter is pretty slow. Again, you can have a slower shutter speed, but just realize you're going to get a lot of motion blur. So honestly, with the AI denoising now at this point, you can pretty much just raise your ISO a bit and have the AI denoise for you. So looking at this shot, fairly noisy. So let's go ahead and denoise this. And I can check how it's gonna look here. It goes the AI picking up the fact that there's motion blur as well. And there we go. Noise reduction in no time. 
and it's looking pretty clean. Now, again, I don't really like the pixel peep. What I'm looking for is overall, how does the photo look? And while you can have the noise, being able to noise reduce just a bit is a really, really good option on your photos. Here's it compared to the noisy version. And yeah, you, you really can see that difference. And then again, we would just edit it like normally. With sparklers, because everything becomes so orange, I actually like to pull down the warmth. And we can remove some yellow. There we go. Pretty good. So here we are with another sparkler exit. If you're curious how to shoot sparkler exits, definitely check out my video right up above where I tell you how I do my sparkler exits. This time I'm at ISO 1250, so we can definitely see we have grain in here. Again, the photo's a little soft because I shot at 1 over 100. Let's go ahead and denoise this and see what it looks like. So AI denoise. And we can already see it's giving us great results. Yeah, it's so surprising how good it is. There's our denoise version. Nice and smooth. Being able to use AI denoising is a game changer for wedding photography specifically. Since we deal with reception so often and everything is so dark, this is hands down gonna speed up your workflow. If you're still looking to learn Lightroom, don't forget to check out that Lightroom course in the description below and check out these videos here to learn more about wedding photography and I'll catch you all next time.